It's Bowling for Fruit. I'm your host, Nicole Roche. Uh, we got our fruit, and uh, we're going to have some of you guys need to get your questions ready. Uh, we were trying this on TikTok, but it was a failed attempt, so we're back. And I'm hoping that everything works out here. So, how are you guys doing? I haven't been on um, social media in a while, and um, it's good to be back. <clears throat> Had a nice little break. Oh, saved, Michelle. I can't request you because I'm waiting for my co-host. Sorry. But, you know, feel free to ask any questions in the question box. Um, <clears throat> this is a Q&A. Um, Rimson is a high raw vegan nutritionist. So he has a lot of knowledge. He helps people lose weight. He helps people uh, heal their bodies. And I'm going to request him or accept his... No, no, no. Hey, uh, tribe, by Noir, I mean, Rimson. <laughs> I can see you. There we go. All right. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know how, how good it feels to be able to see you. Because last time I yeah, see you. <laughs> TikTok is a scuffed platform. It's it's, it's weird. It it I mean it used to be it used to be a pretty good platform, but I don't really do much on it anymore because they sh they like I don't know the platform is just not real right really all that great. So I mean I mainly just do my stuff on IG and YouTube now. Really? And, you know TikTok is taken. Yeah, I used to stream twice I, a week on TikTok. No. I'm not really doing it anymore. So you stop doing um, that. Yeah, stop doing it now. I just stream on my YouTube channel. I don't really bother with TikTok so much anymore. Do you know, I went live like twice a couple weeks ago or last week, and I get weird people requesting to join, and then they come on my, my then I bring them on, and they're doing weird stuff. It's like weird. That's, I, that's why I, I don't connect with them. I don't know any people from TikTok. I don't really communicate with people on there. So I felt like when we were just on there, <clears throat> Not only was I couldn't bear, I could see you in a little box on the bo right hand corner, but I felt like I was in another country. Like, I don't know anybody. I feel, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like home. Mm. You know, I had, I had some, yeah, some trolls yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah some, you, you was bringing some trolls yeah. on? I was, yeah, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a, in a while. Okay, we have a question from Russell Jones. Thank you, Russell. Unlike TikTok, they weren't asking nothing. <laughs> oh, let's go back. I had another question before that. So let me, you guys put your questions in the question box so I don't have to be scrolling up and stuff. So how can I build muscle? We we talk about this on almost every live, um, but Ant77Holly is probably new. So how, do, how can he build muscle, Marimson? And then, yeah, but, wait, wait, before yeah. you answer that, then also answer him. He also says how to start a plant-based diet. Um, yeah, so as far as building muscle on um, as far as building muscle, the prime, muscle grows as a, as a, um, muscle growth is a defensive mechanism, right? So the only reason why muscle grows is to protect your connective tissues and your bones from damage, right? So when you do resistance training, essentially what happens is you're challenging your bones and connective tissues of your joints uh, <laughs> under resistance. Muscular contractions then, number one, they produce force as well as resist force. And they protect your ligaments and, and your tendons and, and bones and whatnot from incurring damage. Um, when a muscle becomes fatigued to the point where your body registers the resistance as a threat to your connective tissue and your bones. Your body will respond by reinforcing and thickening muscle mass, right? This is the reason why um, intense or heavy weightlifting uh, or resistance training builds muscle, right? Your, your muscle is only going to grow in, in proportion to how, to how much effort you're putting into resistance training. Um, so it's purely effort based. Now, as long as you're eating enough, as long as you're eating enough carbohydrates, 
um, and you're getting enough protein, you'll build muscle. Now, as far as protein is concerned, you don't need a whole lot of it. You really, you know, I would say one gram of protein per kilogram of lean mass is more than enough to build muscle. But, you know, the most important thing when it comes to actual muscle size is going to be uh, making sure you're consuming enough carbohydrates uh, as well as staying hydrated. Muscles are not able to produce force or muscular contractions without the glucose and the water, right? And dehydration literally can cause uh, muscle weakness, uh, you know, chronic fatigue, muscle cramps, uh, as well as actual tearing uh, of muscle fibers, right? Um, as a result of not having the water and the electrolytes and the glucose there in order to, to uh, produce contractile force. Right. Uh, muscle is 76 percent water, 24 percent protein. All right. So just understand that whatever, let's say if you were. Let's say if you were 75 kilograms of lean muscle mass. Only 20, only 24 or 25 uh, percent of that is made up of actual proteins. Right. Uh, so you can build, if you're a man, you can build a maximum of two pounds of muscle um, per month. So this at the if you were to train for resistance training and hypertrophy, building muscle for a full calendar year, you would be able to put on a maximum of 24 pounds in a year of muscle mass. Right. Um, on average, people tend to do in between six and 12 pounds of lean muscle mass per year. For women, it's more so along the lines of six pounds with a maximum of 12 pounds of muscle uh, per year. So if you think about that, you know, you can train consistently for a whole month building muscle and only see a one pound increase or a two pound increase, right? So if you're doing hypertrophy training, you know, lifting weights and all of that, doing that very consistently, doing everything by the book, you're going to be putting on one or two pounds a month. Uh, so it's, it's not really a significant amount of muscle mass. Building. It takes a while. It takes a while. Like you're doing. Right. All exactly. The work. You're doing all right. the work, but it kind of comes in slowly. It's very slow. Right. Right. Now, the thing that has the most influence on muscle size is actually going to be water and carbs so to have more fuller muscle mass if you want more fuller muscle mass then the, the primary way to achieve that is basically having a carb rich diet where your diet is like you know 60 percent or 65 percent carbs you guys you guys should just like do everything that remson does and then you'll get muscle because <laughs> he's swole no. <laughs> You know, like what are you eating right now, Remsen? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm eating some cantaloupe and grapes, red grapes. So there's my fruit bowl. But I just have tangerines. I'm not like really hungry right now. But yeah, he eats a lot of fruit too, you guys. Carbs, you know, carbs. Yeah, the, can the cantaloupe, though. The can you eat the whole cantaloupe? You know, we're getting, we know we're getting deeper into winter because the cantaloupe tastes like cucumber. Mmm, it's nice. It is fresh. real mild. Yeah, it is real mild flavor. It's not sweet like how it is like in the summertime. Yeah, it's just, so. it's just more so like just to, to 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 feel like refreshed when you eat it. <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. for taste. It's not for taste right now. But you know, yeah, not right now. You know, it's really nice right now. Oh, even though it's so much work, oh, pomegranate. Oh. Oh, yeah, because you have to scoop out all the little seeds in there and it inside and everything. Yeah. It takes forever for me to get all the seeds. I like to put them all in a bowl and then just eat it with a spoon. But it takes forever mm -hmm. to get them all in there. But it's so delish. And it feels so refreshing. Oh, anyway, mm -hmm. okay. save Michelle. Did you say how to start a, 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 a plant-based diet? Because that was his second question. How to start? Mm -hmm. uh, just start. No, I'm just <laughs> How to start? I, I so so I want to um. How complicated should the answer be? I think you can say. 
Hey. Here's, here's, here's how to start. <laughs> let me tell, let me say how to start. Hey, hold, hold it up. Here's how to start. Here's your checklist. All right, you ready? Six pounds of fruit a day. <laughs> um, that sounds heck of a lot, but it's probably not. One, one cup of legumes, one to two cups of legumes per day. One to two cups of whole grains per day and four cups of greens per day. Wow. That, that's where you start. I heard that. Now, I have a little thing to throw in there. If you, is he still on here first? Because I want to be talking to the side of my neck. Are you, still, are you still on here? I don't know if he's still on here. So if you're still on here, make a comment and say you're still on here. And then I'll say what I was going to say. You Save say, Michelle. You don't want to talk to the I, side of your neck? I'm going to talk to the side of my neck, meaning like telling him how to start a diet if he's not even on here anymore. <laughs> Oh. You know what I mean? Because I was going to make a suggestion. Like, sometimes if people can't just go straight to plant-based overnight, cold turkey, if you will, um, you can build up to it. Like, you know, starting off with one vegan meal a day for four weeks or so, and then add your second meal, at, and then, you know, and then add your third meal. Um, and then the things that Rimson mentioned to eat is the things that you could focus on for your meals. Like, you could do, like... You know, oatmeal and fruit. You know, you can do um, avocado and toast. You can you can even have cereals, but not the sugary cereals. You can have um, uh, fruit, a smoothie for breakfast, and then lunch lunches could lunches and dinners could be the same. It could be like a salad with beans on it, and you know, a nice dressing that's um, homemade. <laughs> um, and beans and rice with a vegetable, stir-fried vegetables and rice, stir-fried vegetables and quinoa. Um, sometimes I'll just have fruit for dinner or a smoothie for dinner or an ice cream, if, if that's what I call it, when I make the frozen fruit and stuff with my food processor and it comes out like a um, nice cream. Oh, here's, here's, here's what you do. Here's, here's what you do. You ready? What? Because she said a whole bunch of complicated <laughs> stuff. I'm going to simplify it right now. What? She said all kind of stuff. All right, fellas. Those are easy. You know, we only hear about twenty. We we only hear about twenty five percent of what women say. Oh, no, you right? didn't. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. No, you're not. Right, we got low tension span. You see, you're like all right. So for the first meal, you can have oats and you can have <laughs> bananas, and then for lunch, you can do it, and then it just starts to starts to fade out. Are you seeing? Right? And then we start thinking about. We start football. thinking about baby elephants and, <laughs> and, and and old footballs and you know little babies dribbling basketballs. Right, just zone out. Right? You ain't right. And they be like, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> now, me and my husband. Because I do that. All, are you listening to me? I'll say that are like five times. The same Michelle still on here. Let me see. Say Michelle had a question, but I don't know if she's still on here. And here we do. Okay. Huh? Here's it. When you, so uh, meal number one, six bananas. Meal number two, two pounds of red grapes. Meal number three, an avocado, a cup of cashews, with four cups of greens. Don't be trying to say that mine sounded hard. Mine was easy. Yours was too sophisticated. <laughs> say Michelle's not on here, so I'm gonna skip her questions. Well, actually, let's answer it anyway, because somebody else might want to know that. Do you know what types of carbs slash proteins that will not spike my blood sugar? Um, what kind of carbs or proteins would not spike my blood sugar? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to get an increase in blood sugar whenever you eat carbohydrates, but um, foods that are are 55 and below in the glycemic index typically cause much less of, an, of a blood sugar increase. So just to name a few things, you got quinoa, you've got kasha, 
You've got rolled oats or steel cut oats. You've got um, any type of legumes, black beans, red kidney beans, chickpeas, chickpeas, red lentils. Those won't really cause much of a blood sugar spike. Um, kiwis, cherries, strawberries, blueberries, really any kind of berries. Um, grapefruit. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. Those are just a few that you won't really have to worry about blood sugar spikes. That's good. Oh my God, Remsen, I'm. Can you? I'm still. I'm still on. Pat me on my back, please. It depends. It depends. What am I patting for? What, what I'm, I'm still on my. Um, <clears throat> I'm still on my no coffee tip. Seven weeks now. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's the proverbial digital back padding. Yeah. Rimson, I feel so wonderful. Oh. St. Michelle said, okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, she is still on here. Okay. Very informative, Aunt 77 Holly said. Thank you, Aunt Holly. Yes, Rimson is one of the best. Do you, do you, um, do you talk slower after not having the, the coffee? What? Do you feel like you talk slower? Do you feel like I talk slower? <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm just no, I'm just asking if you feel like because you know when you're less caffeinated, does it kind of you feel like you're able to collect your thoughts a little bit better? No, because um, no. the only thing it did for me was it, it got I got addicted to it just because of drinking it every day for six years. But I was never drinking it for like energy or to wake up or anything like that. So the only thing that affected me by not drinking it was giving me headaches because my body was addicted to it but i actually feel much better i feel i just feel like calmer i feel or, free and just clean because i'm not putting that caffeine plus that creamer i was putting in every day it was a non-dairy creamer but it was still extra added sugar you know so i feel good that i'm not putting that body in my body anymore uh, oh okay gotcha because it, it's a stimulant let me let so me kind of like well, It'll have you up here. Right. But perpetually. Let me, right? Some people let like me say this, though. I've, I've been feeling good for the last three days out of the seven weeks. And the reason why I'm just now starting to feel good is because the first, like, several weeks, um, I haven't been on social media. I've been taking a break. But the first several weeks, I was feeling a void. So I wasn't having that delicious, tasty dessert in the morning, which was my coffee with the creamer, right? So I've been like filling a void, like, oh, well, I don't get to drink my coffee no more. So let me eat, you know, I'm eating candy. I'm eating like sweets and just, but the, and I'm okay with doing that sometimes just every now and then, but I've been doing it like every day because I was filling a void and, and then it would make me feel sick. So it was like, why am I going to stop one thing and then replace it with another thing that's not good for me? That's dumb. So I had to check myself and get get myself together. Like, that's so stupid. You're like saying you don't want to drink all this creamer in your coffee every day because of the sugar, but yet you're eating candy and eating all this stuff. So what are you doing, Nicole? I had to like literally talk to myself. Like, what, what what's really going on? Like, get yourself together. So it's the, ha the Halloween candy? I didn't really have any Halloween candy because although, um, yeah, we didn't have, because. I mean, I went trick or treating with my niece and nephew, but they got candy. I just, but but I I just been going to the store and getting like candy, like you know, or just like eating even some even if it's vegan candy or like vegan chocolate or even vegan ice cream. It's still it's just you know it's still junk food that you don't need, right? So, um, but I didn't like my mentality. It was like, oh, I don't get to have this, so let me let me have this to fill the void. But I'm like, hello, you're defeating the whole purpose. You know what I mean? So the last three, four days, I haven't been doing that anymore. And I and I just I'm finally feeling what it I'm finally feeling the goodness I should have been feeling a long time ago when I first start stopped drinking the coffee. You know what I mean? I'm finally mm -hmm. feeling good because I'm just eating clean all the way. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm okay with eating like little sweets and things every now and then every now and then but i wasn't doing it i just sleep while i've been sleeping real good there you go 
I, I feel so good, Remsen. I feel good. Oh, there's a question in the box. Let's see. What can we drink for a wake up? Why do we have to drink something to wake up? No, I'm just kidding. Somebody said, what can we drink for a wake up instead of coffee that's healthy? Now, first of all, let me go back to me again. I wasn't drinking coffee for that. I was drinking it just because I love the taste. Okay. But yes, some people do need it to wake up or they need it for energy and the function. So this person is asking, Aunt 77 Holly says, like, what can we drink instead of coffee? How about just eating some fruit in the morning? Drink a smoothie with some fruit and some greens and you'll feel so great. Huh? Cucumber juice. Cucumber, cucumber juice. juice. Juice of cucumber. Yeah, yeah, juice of cucumber. Hmm. That sounds refreshing. It probably don't taste like nothing, but it sounds really refreshing and rejuvenating. I mean, it's great. It's a great source of electrolytes. I have a, a co-worker that come, she would come in my office every day and just like all day, every time she'd come in, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm like, girl, go eat some fruit. <laughs> so, you know, wake up. And she's drinking coffee and energy drinks in the daytime at work, but she's still extremely tired. And I'm just like, obviously that ain't helping. I was like, maybe you need to eat some fruit, you know. Um, no, when somebody tells you that they're tired, you got to ask them what they're tired of. <laughs> right what are some recipes for the holiday season say michelle said i don't have oh, don't ask me i don't i don't i don't cook. i be what i've been doing the last couple of holidays well now the restaurant is closed but i would i would go to this restaurant i would order the food and bring it to um the family it, and i would get like sweet potatoes and um greens and like black eyed peas and rice it was a vegan and i would bring it there enough to share with people um sometimes they would eat it sometimes they wouldn't but now they've closed my restaurant so i don't know what i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna be eating for the holidays I'm grapes what what do you mean <laughs> no, are you, doing no I'm, I'm all... are you doing a grape cleanse no, I'm not gonna just no, I'm not doing a I'm not doing a cleanse. Um I was just joking. Oh, nah, but that's that I'm, you know, I'll be doing my excited. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my chocolate oat I'm gonna be doing my chocolate oat pudding. Mm. My chocolate peanut butter oat chip pudding. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing my red lentil gravy sauce mm. over my greens and basmati rice. I'll be you doing that. On Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Uh, we ain't gonna get into that. Uh, that's not a whole nother topic. <laughs> yeah, I feel weird about doing that. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay. So you're just talking about and what then, you're and, gonna be eating in these these days coming yep. up. And stuff. Exactly, which is <laughs> the same stuff I've been eating. Yeah. Yeah. So guess what? Mm -hmm. My birthday is on the 22nd, and I'm gonna be doing a seven day raw raw till 49. It'd be called raw till 49 because I'll be 49. So I'm doing like a seven day raw. It's just kind of like, a, like, you know, to bring in my new birthday year with a fresh rejuvenation. What you mean you'll be 49? Huh? What you mean you'll be 49? What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> yeah. What you mean you'll be 49? I'm going to be 49 How? on the 22nd. How? I know, right? I I feel so young. I feel like I'm 32. <laughs> Dang. It sounds like 49. Doesn't that sound crazy? You'd be, out here, you'd be out here hiking up the number for shock factor. Man, I am going to. I don't have my, I don't have my uh, license in here, but I'm going to be 49. I was born November 22nd, 1974, <clears throat> when John F. Kennedy was killed. Who was born in the 80s? Who? You. I wish. No, I was born 74, unfortunately. I'm kind of getting sad about my age. Although I feel young, the number is throwing me off. And I'm just like, I don't like that. I don't like to know that next year I'm going to be 50. Like, that's crazy. But anyway, I'm bringing in my new year with a seven-day raw 
vegan, I don't want to call it a cleanse, just a, I'll say a reset, like a reset. And, and, and it's also symbolizing my newness, you know, the fact that I gave up coffee, I'm giving up all this like junk food and stuff and sugar and just starting over fresh. Well, maybe next year, November, she was like, I'm getting ready for my 49th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. She's stuck in a time, in a time machine, it's suspended so in time and space. Oh. Oh. A singularity. Shut up. Ripson saves me too, says, what kind of rice did he say he's going to have? What is it? Basmati rice. You mean the white rice? Yeah. You like white rice? But like my Indian folks said, basmati rice. <laughs> you gotta, basmati, basmati, basmati rice. That's heck of funny. You got the um, the accent down. Oh, um, mm. Anthony also says, um, I drive trucks for a living and I drive all night, so sometimes I get tired. I only drink black coffee, no sugar or cream. Does that make it better? I, the more coffee you drink, the more tired you're going to be. You got to carb up. You got to just be eating fruit on the road all day. <laughs> yeah. If I was a truck driver, that's what I would do. I would just be pounding fruit you all day. I have, I, have truck, I have truck drivers who I've made diet plans for. You it works for them. got to get the natural sugars in you. Give you that energy. Yeah. No more the, thing is, the more the more coffee you drink, the more you tap your adrenal glands, the more tired you feel. It's doing the opposite effect. That thing. caffeine. It's doing. Yeah, it's draining you. It's doing, doing the opposite mm -hmm. effect, huh? Yeah. Just oh. like my coworker, she's drinking coffee and mm -hmm. tea drinks, but she's coming in my office all throughout the day saying, "I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm tired." And I'm just like, well, oh, how are you tired when you're eating all that that coffee drinks and energy drinks? Because it ain't working. Because it's making like if you can drink like an energy drink and then lay down and go to sleep, <laughs> you are tapped out. <laughs> Your body is too used to you, uh, too used to that stuff. Okay, sounds good. He says, okay, Aunt, go get you some some fruits. You know, start drinking a smoothie in the morning, or you know, drinking a smoothie when you um go on your, your road trips, I mean, your driving job, because I don't know, something about smoothies, like the fruit and put some greens in it, and you just feel so, oh. what do you replace with coffee? Who? What do, who replace with coffee? Because I don't replace nothing. I, I gave up coffee and I just gave it up. I'm not, there's nothing that can replace coffee because the, co the way the taste of coffee with my creamer, nothing can replace that. So I don't even try to replace it. I just, I gave it up and that's that. <laughs> um, okay. But, you know, it depends. Like when you say, what do you, are you asking, like, what can you replace with coffee? Like, because you need something else that makes you have energy. I was, I'm a nurse. I got to have that kick in the morning. Do you have to have that kick in the morning, Michelle? Or you just want to have that kick? No, I'm just playing. I'm telling y'all, try starting off with a smoothie in the morning instead and see. Make your smoothie at home before you go to work. Put some bananas in there for the base so it can make it creamy. Frozen bananas, preferably. Throw a cup of blueberries in there. Grow a handful of spinach or a handful of kale. Some icicles, I mean, some ice cubes. And, you know, maybe some strawberries. And drink that in the morning and see how you feel. Let me know. So my, you start, we'll start, your, start. start your morning off with Jim Carrey. <laughs> that get you amped up. <laughs> you guys, um, okay, I'm sad because we wasted 20 minutes on TikTok having issues that it took 20 minutes of our Q and A away. But I still have to wrap it up now. Let's ask answer one more question and then I have to bring it to a close. Okay, so Rimson, you and I are gonna just go back to IG because TikTok, I'm just not feeling it i feel like a stranger over there i don't really know people over there i think you did better when you were doing by yourself <laughs> like because they know you well, your tiktok your yeah, tiktok hides me from, from from the people who follow me well you had a lot of people interacting with you on there and i think because you built that relationship over time but see me i'm not um you know i'm not anymore yeah i'll go live on tiktok man they hide me they hide myself they do even when i post on tiktok yeah because i got like i had a, I have a few hundred thousand uh you know followers on tiktok i'll post something i'm trying to get like a thousand yeah. views or something yeah 
Those, those, those people are just so many weird people, trolls and stuff. Okay, last question, and then we have to bring it to a close, unfortunately. Next time, we'll come back on IG Live so we won't waste 20 minutes <laughs> on TikTok with their wax selves. Um, do you have a diet plan for people with kidney issues? I had, yep. blood, I had blood pressure in the, for years, and it affected my kidneys, and I'm trying to improve my kidney function. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it sounds funny because you're the grapes with your microphone. <laughs> it just sounds so clear. Okay, are you going to so get a little ASMR? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are you going to answer that question and then we'll bring it to a close? Uh, yes, I do. No, I'm playing. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, a big part of like with your kidneys is. Um, you know, adequately hydrating your body. I mean, a raw diet is really good for that. Right? In particular, like a raw diet. Yeah. The more raw your diet is, the more it'll help. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if you if you have high blood pressure, that is really really chronically high. It will lead to extra stress on your kidneys. Also. If you have, a, if you're insulin resistant and you're used to having elevated blood sugar that is just sustained and prolonged over a long period of time, that can also mess with your kidneys. So, some of the best things that you can do for your kidneys is lower your blood pressure um, and have and be more insulin sensitive. And so, a raw vegan diet is very good yeah. for that. And also. Reducing the amount of oxidative stress in your body, right? Um, so your diet should be, I would say, around 60-65% carbohydrates. Your fat sources should be polyunsaturated fat sources, uh, making up about 10-15% to 15 of your macros. Um, and then protein, protein can be you know, whatever's left over, generally speaking, protein should be one gram, of, one gram of protein per kilogram of lean mass. And as long as you stick to guidelines like that, you'll be able to improve your kidney health, as well as having an eating schedule, right? You shouldn't be eating all day from sun up to Sunday. Oh. So. Yeah, you gotta let, let your body rest. Yeah, you know, you start eating an hour or two after you wake up and you finish eating about six hours before bed. And that'll also really help with your blood sugar as well. Well, that sounds good. Um, I'll be doing a seven-day raw cleanse for the person that asked that question. But if you want to join me, hit me up in my in inbox, but only after you put a profile picture on. <laughs> and you got to do the Smooth Moves Challenge. Smooth Move? The Smooth Moves Challenge. <laughs> right? Smooth Moves Challenge. I heard and you, that. And you put your moves... In your stories, yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about <laughs> the porcelain throne moves. Oh, I'm so I feel, I'm so happy we came back to IG. I feel so much better over here. Like it just feels more like at home. I feel so much better here with That's, you. Right, and then we get to we get to get closer together when we show, you know, our smooth moves that we leave in the porcelain throne and we can do a full analysis. All right, so you see this one is nice and smooth. It's a darker color, more of a green tint to it. So we're making sure we're getting that chlorophyll and the fiber in there. All right, this move is not as smooth. It's a little lumpy, uh, a little narrow. That means you have a little bit of difficulty here. We gotta add a little bit more insoluble fiber to kind of bulk things up and maybe a little dehydrated. So it's a bit of a skinny move. Mm -hmm. This is a nice, this is a more of a, a fat, thick, smooth move, but it's a little bit lighter colored, so you've probably been getting too carried away with the peanut butter, right? That yeah. kind of thing. So yeah. we get to learn about our smooth moves, and you definitely shouldn't be on the toilet pushing out nuggets, right? Because that means that, you know, that's not a smooth It move. should be flowing. It should be like, blah, blah, blah. It should be smooth. It should be flowing, It should be flowing, right? flowing. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway. You want to be... You want to bust a move and be proud of the move, right? He yeah. said, <laughs> said bust a move. So silly. 
anyway, sorry, Brimson, our time was cut short because we wasted 20 minutes over there. But next time, we know we're just going to do it on IG Live. You guys, I think we're taking a break in two weeks on Thanksgiving weekend because, you know, people travel in and spending time with family and whatnot. Um, so we'll resume in the first week of December on IG Live. And uh, he said, I'm not a troll. I'm genuinely interested. I never use IG. I'm always on Facebook. Well, Russell, if you're going to interact with me, you need to put a profile picture on there. After, after we get off this live, go get a profile picture and put it on there just for me. Okay? <laughs> thank you everybody for joining us today um sorry we um we're only on here for like 30 minutes because we actually were supposed to be on tiktok today but tiktok is whack so we came back here but next time we'll give you a full hour um thank you guys for your questions thank you for joining thank you Remsen. it's so good to see you miss you absolutely good to good to reconnect yeah. do it again yes i'm glad you got to go see your boo in ohio that's where she lives. Oh, right. yeah, it was a good trip. Oh, oh. That's right. It was a good trip. I know. I bet. It's in Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's up. All right. I'll see you in a few weeks or maybe like three, three-ish weeks. All right. All right. Well, let me know. Well, you let me know. If you want to do it on the, the weekend of Thanksgiving, I'm down. I just know you said you might be traveling or something. Yeah, probably. Like I don't know. I, yeah, I, we, we gotta see. But I think after that, we should be fine. Let's just do it in the beginning of December. Okay. All right. All right. All right. See Sounds you next good. time. Bye, everybody. God bless you all. Make sure you follow Remsen and myself. Um, I did see somebody follow me with no profile picture, and I did remove you. So if you want to follow me, put a profile picture on, please. <laughs> 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 Love you. Nah. That's okay. Crazy. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, Remsen. Right. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.